Hey guys, welcome back. It's Dotterin. Well, I left the branch mine and came back to our uh, zombie grinder. Um, our branch mine used up almost all of both of our enchanted pickaxes. You can kind of see down there, our last pickaxe is uh, almost gone. So I need some more experience so that I can create uh, a couple more enchanted items. And I've been sitting here for quite a while, uh, even longer than uh, when I made the 250th episode. And uh, once again, I took out a lot of the torches so that um, I could make sure that the spawner gave us as many of these zombies as possible. <coughs> uh, I picked up uh, t three more of the splash potions and created um, a bunch of new ones uh, just out of the um, little awkward potions that we had created a while back okay so I didn't do anything I didn't do anything out of the ordinary I, ju I just took you know remember these went down to like the third row I just took those out and made them into more of the splash potions okay well, I also increased the amount of RAM to Java again. Um, so I had dedicated two gigabytes to Minecraft. And you can you can see right now, uh, even up here where the zombies aren't really located, uh, this is quite laggy. So uh, this should be rather interesting when we can tap it. Uh, it didn't do this the last time. And... Um, I was I was shooting for 400. We didn't quite get there. It was um, like 370, maybe 380 uh, tops. So you know it was it, it was it was a nice haul. But um, I'm thinking with the amount of lag that we're seeing right now, um, this is going to be good. I mean I am just going really slowly here uh, so that the lag doesn't totally kill us. I mean you can hear. Here the zombies just going absolutely nuts, um, and I'm going to be interested to see actually how many zombies uh, made it into here. Um, I want to just get it so it's right where we want it to go. There we go. Then I'm going to press F3, and we're going to see what we got. Um, I may even do F3 followed by escape just to kind of quiet things down, okay? So let's try this. There we go. 560 zombies. How's that for a good one? 560 zombies. That is nuts. Um... It says 695 over here, too, so I'm wondering if we had a fair amount that already died. Um, but that is just crazy. So I am going to try this. I'm going to try tossing one more potion in there. Um, wouldn't that be a riot if 560 zombies got killed with one splash potion? I mean, that would be absolutely nuts. So... Uh, here we go, we're going to try it again, and we're going to see what happens. Okay. Uh, this is so laggy that it may even lock up Minecraft, so um, I just want to see what's going to happen. Alright, here we go. Bang! Oh! comes the experience and look we were we had literally none left so now it's going to be interesting let's see we had it's kind of weird if I remember the last time while this is all going on I can talk because I don't have to move um, I think we started with nine and a half experience and we got up to almost 36 experience so that was almost four times the experience. This time around, we really didn't have any experience. Um, 
We definitely were, we didn't have one. It might have been one little bitty bar or something. Um, so we had 560, is that what it was? 560 zombies. Uh, we threw one potion at them. I can still hear some zombies, so it didn't take them all out. But let's just see how much uh, experience this will give us. And then we'll do another F3 and we'll find out how many zombies uh, were left. Mm. Excuse me. Well, I was reading some comments from a couple of the new subscribers and um, they give me some more information. Uh, I have a little bit of correcting to do too. Um, first of all, some more information. Um, one of you had said more about how these spawners generate and uh, one was talking about light levels uh, needing to be uh, a zero light level within eight blocks in any direction of the spawner because evidently a spawner can spawn monsters um, up to eight blocks away from the spawner so if you think about it that way, we would have to come out eight blocks from the spawn, and then at that point, right there should be a light level of zero. Okay? Um, and I forgot what it was, if it was 16. I think the highest light level is 16. Um, so if a, t and I don't know this for sure, but say a torch, if a torch gave off a light level of 16, um, every block away from that torch, the light level drops one. So if we think about that, we would need that, the nearest torch couldn't be any closer than 16. So, so that would be 17. So 17 plus the 8 would be what? 18, 19, 20? Uh, about 25 blocks away from the spawner in any direction would be as far as we could go um, with a torch if we wanted the spawner spawning rate to be as high as possible. Um, that's not bad. But again, I'm running across the possibility that what happens while we're down here you know, you. I mean, I just started recording this. I'm actually hitting right now eight minutes. But prior to me starting recording, um, I was standing there in front of that glass wall for over an hour, maybe an hour and ten minutes. So what's to stop us from being attacked by a bad guy that could spawn within the darkened areas where we were because we took all those torches down? Okay, now there's a ton of rotten flesh but I do see that we have some more zombies. So before I go get that rotten flesh, I'm gonna to toss another one. There we go. And it looks like we might have took the rest of them out. I did forget to hit an F3. Um, but honestly, there didn't look like there were too many left. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to walk up here. We can get the residual little bit of experience. And look at the number of stacks of rotten flesh. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six in just the active bar. Um, I'm going to wait until the rest of this experience comes and joins us. Ooh, I do hear a zombie. Um, so we, we may take a little bit of knockback when he falls, because I'm sure he's going to introduce himself. But look at this, yep. Yeah, he knocked us back. Um, holy cow. Look at this, we're up almost to 30 now. Um, which is awesome. I mean, like, remember the last time we had, uh, not, we had, what, 370 zombies? And uh, we started at 9 and made it up to almost 36. So if we said... Uh, 27 maybe? 26? 
at most. Um, if you you know take away that nine we started with, and here we go with uh, having nothing. Five hundred and what was it? Five hundred and sixty? Five hundred and seventy zombies? And we're almost there now. Look at this, and it's still coming. Holy crud! Thirty-four. Yeah, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. And look at them; they're still coming. Now this is funny because they're actually uh, still coming. So I'm wondering what the heck is going on. Holy cow, look at this. We've just surpassed where we were last time. And they're coming a lot faster now. Wow. Alright, I got one more splash potion down here. Land. Okay. Um, I do have another splash leaders. <laughs> wow. Alright. I could just use that pickaxe, but I enjoy throwing these things at him. Wow, you guys look at that. Thirty eight experience. Not bad. Not bad at all. And look at the rotten flesh. I mean, this is... This is definitely... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost an entire row of rotten flesh. Unbelievable. Is that cool or what? Alright. 38 experience. Um, we had just finished with some uh, branch mining where uh, we had found a ton of um, diamonds. I think it was I think it was like 21 more diamonds. Um, and that was that was in addition to the I think we have 10 back up at the house uh, you know unbelievable um, yeah I'm putting all the light back in just because it's uh, it does kind of freak me out that it's so dark down here um, I, I'm toying around with the idea of putting in some kind of a um, mechanism using pistons to create some kind of a retracted lighting. Um, sticky pistons have the ability of pushing, I believe it's 16 blocks. And um, I'm just trying to look here because, you know, we don't need all these torches, but if there was a, pl a place where we could create it, and I'm well, maybe in here might be good. Um, that looks kind of buried because I don't want to see the pistons I want it to be really really kind of cool um, we don't have enough we don't have a lot of room over there but um, where else could we do it? maybe up here yeah this might be a possibility um, let me think about this uh, let's see could we do this we could go sideways Oh, that might work. Okay, that might work. Um, what if we position? So we got those torches there. We got those torches there. What if we got two blocks of light stone and position them here and here? Um, and then going on in the same direction, so underneath this one, you know, on, on this level here, put another piece of clean stone there and over here under this one another piece of clean stone there um, let me think about this actually two pieces over here because we could do it that way and then um, let's see that would only no that would only push one that would only push one alright what would we do 
All right, maybe we would. All right, maybe we couldn't do it. Maybe we could do one light stone here, right? Because there's there's nothing there yet. Maybe one light stone there, and then maybe over here, uh, right here, another light stone. Um, anyways, the idea is that you would have a piece of light stone here, uh, stone here, and um, you know, stone over here. And if you had a piston over here, it could push this piece of light stone under this one and make it completely black or dark. Then over on this side, you had another piston that when you activated it, pushed it back into view. Kind of like an on-off switch for that piece of light stone. Um, that way, we wouldn't have to keep doing what we're doing here. But see, as we're doing it, this thing is still churning. Um, I did have it. I did have my laptop sitting in my lap as I as these guys were generating. And um, you know, one thing I noticed when I first built this, even with all the light, was that it was generating uh, like this here. See that two or more zombies. Um, but when I had all the torches gone, very seldomly did I see multiples. It just seemed like one, 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 and one. Um, hold on a second, that's my phone. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, had to pick up my kids from a basketball game. All right, so yeah, I think we could have a, a an interesting idea here, and I think I think I'll have to play around with that um, and see how I would make that work. All right, before I stop for a bit, let's head back up to the house and see what we could do with this 38 enchantment. Uh, I think I think I'm loving the pickaxes. Um, you know, we don't really go nuts with fighting monsters or anything, so I don't think we have a real need for an enchanted sword. Um, we are also not dealing with stuff where bodily damage is a possibility. So I'm not too worried about um, the need of enchanted armor either. Um, so how's this working? Okay, let's just get out of the rain here. And all right, before we do it, we are going to yeah. See, we had 12 here, and I think we had 21 down there. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good to make a pickaxe and then see what we can do to uh, enchant this bad boy. Um, now, honestly, though, 38 is right around what we had before. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, oh, I'm actually running 1.1 now. And they made a comment about something changed in here. The the randomity changed somehow, but I, I, don't, I don't know how or what they meant by that. All right now, there's a 31. I'm, I got 38, so let's just see if we can't max it out here. What would a 38 give us? There's a 35. And I think we had a 34 or a 35 last time. Ooh, there's a 39, but we don't quite have that. Um, 35. Oh, come on, I want a 38. 36, we're getting there. Come on. 38. 38. 32. 34, 34, I kind of hope that they meant the changes they did would, you know, give more possibilities of numbers versus, you know, randomly giving you the same numbers all the time, but that doesn't seem to be what they changed. Come on, 38, 38, 38, where are you? I just want to get rid of this experience before we do something and possibly die and lose it all. Uh, or at least half of it. 38, 30. Ooh, there's a 37. Oh, should I go for the 37? Or should I try for 38? Huh? Oh, my daughter's saying 38, so we're going. We're trying for 38. 38, 38, 38. This is kind of silly. Um, 
you know, if you can just sit here and do this constantly, eventually you're going to get what you want. So I, there should be an easier way to do this. Um, had another 37. Six, thirty-nine. Mm. Everything but a thirty-eight. Ah, there we go. Thirty-eight. And I don't know what this bad boy is. Um, oh, before I do this one, this guy down here was efficiency three. Remember, I had said earlier I had a correction to make. Um, we were talking about the differences between an efficiency two and an efficiency three. Um, one of the users was telling me that efficiency actually means how fast. Uh, the pickaxe will mine through stuff. And actually, um, yes, I would be in agreement with that because remember I had said that the enchanted pickaxe goes through dirt just as easily as it went through rock and ore and it even went through uh, gravel at the same speed. So that's that, that I would agree with. So efficiency is actually how fast it'll go through. Um, he was telling me that uh, what I was talking about, meaning that it allowed you to mine more blocks before um, it started to degrade this bar. Um, he was calling it, I think it was called unbreaking. So if we had an enchantment of unbreaking, it meant we could actually mine more. Okay. Um, so let's see. We're going to go for it. All right, there it is. Now, what are we going to get for it? Oh, for Pete's sakes. Look at that. Our efficiency 3, which is about dead, we can replace <laughs> with a new efficiency 3. We are not lucking out too well with these enchantments. Um, oh, but look at that. Look at that. Oh, we sh oh, for Pete's sakes. We had a 38. I thought this was it. We don't, we, we could have gone out and killed you know a creeper or a zombie or something and... and topped it off to 39. Oh well. Okay, so we have got um, we have got a new pickaxe uh, which is pretty cool. You know, it, it didn't take us too long. Um, Alright, I'm going to go to bed to get rid of the night and hopefully get rid of this rain. And then I am going to take a break um, so that I can save this chunk of data. Um, if you remember at the start of this episode I said I had I had made it so that Minecraft had two gigabytes of RAM uh, dedicated to use. Um, however, when I'm running the uh, video capture software, you know, it's it needs a nice chunk of RAM to, uh, you know, be storing this video in um, before it offloads it to the hard drive. Um, so I don't want to mess around with that as well. Okay, so I'm actually at about 23 minutes. Um, I don't know. We I don't know if we'll we'll top it off to thirty doing something little or something. Um, let me think about that. But I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to go. I'm actually going to uh, save this world, make a copy of it, and then I'm going to play around with that lighting idea I was talking about. Um, if I have any successes with that, maybe we'll we'll do that in another episode too. But um, just in case I decide that this might be the time to uh, end this episode um, I, I'll say goodbye you know what let's just let's just do something here um, I mean we're at 24 minutes I mean if I can get three or four minutes of doing something here um, oh man I'm wondering why we don't have more animals at one time all right all right maybe that's what we'll do um, one of my dreams, I was uh, playing around with more of the animals, and um, is that what I want? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, both the sheep to start toying around with um, the possibility of getting more colors involved as well as the chickens for more feathers to make arrows out of. Okay, how's that? Are we going good there? All right, we got two babies. Come on, make a third. There we go. Okay, well, that worked out nice. So they all had babies. Now chickens, chickens, and shoot, that's going to be a tough one. 
I can't really I can't really jump and I can't really I can't really get at them all right maybe I can do it from inside uh, yeah I'm gonna have to do it inside first of all let me get these let me get these couple eggs uh, I've seen a couple of guys try to make chicken farms that used water instead of uh, dirt on the bottom, you know, because they're birds and they can swim. And then um, supposedly uh, when they laid eggs, you could use the water currents to pull the eggs to a particular collection point too. Um, but that's okay. And then um, since we're out now, yeah, since we're out now, um, let's try this trick again. If you take an egg and you throw it at the ground, you got a slight chance it'll actually turn into a chicken. One, two, three, four. Okay, didn't work that time. All right, now these guys are guarding the door, so I'm going to go up top. And we'll see what our pigs are doing. And our single cow. All right, how many pigs? Oh, we got pigs. We got pigs, 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 pigs. All right, let's try over here. Any pigs over here? No. All right. Well, all right, that's good. That's good. All right, cow. All right, we, I wish we could find another cow. Um, then you could have a buddy. Okay, so that's good. That's good. We're at 26 minutes now, 27 minutes. Um, yeah, good. That'll be good for this episode. So we got some more. I, I need to get these sheep. I need to get at least 16 sheep because in a future episode, um, I want to talk about dyes. And I want to show you guys how to create all 16 possible colors of dye. And um, in my other world, I actually had... Uh, a, a rainbow of sheep going on in here um, and that was kind of cool um, there's one more thing I want to do here um, originally alright come on you're gonna let me in here um, originally when he made the sheep able to eat uh, the grasses um, we weren't sure what that meant, so I had actually come in here with bone meal and grew all this long grass, um, thinking that that was, that was the grass that they ate. But then he came out and confirmed that um, they do indeed eat both the long grasses and, you know, this regular grass down here. So that being the point, I don't think I'm going to ever grow long grass um, and I do have another idea that's in my other world that I would love to do in here too and um, it's actually a seed and flower farm um, I want to say it was created originally by ethos and it is just an incredible um, little structure so that's another possibility for the future Okay, so we've got everything here. Let's see what we can do here. Um, yeah, we'll put a couple of those away. Uh, we've got to put our... Is it here? Yeah. Put that away too. And we'll eat a little bit more of this. There we go. Um, oh, let me just... No, no, no. Okay. Um... Yeah, we're not doing too good here. So, what we might do, since we seem to have it, um, is make a new set of armor. And then um, just save, save the other armor, because then as this set starts to get used up, we can use that trick um, where you can actually repair it. So let's get rid of this. It'll give us some new armor just 
because I think if you just have a good set of armor and a good weapon, not an enchanted weapon, just a good weapon, um, you can survive easy enough. All right, so I'm just going to store store this uh, used armor, and then later on, you know, we we can fix that up. Okay, so I think we are good to go. So I will end the episode here, and um, next time, hopefully, uh, I'm going to log off and I'm going to experiment with that lighting idea and see what we can do there. Okay. All right. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.